So Alicia Haske here, the creator of Boudoir for Black Women, as well as the owner of O Experience Boudoir Photography. And we're going to talk about something today that I get a lot when it comes to clients not being sure of what they can wear for a boudoir experience. So today we're going to list six things that you can wear for your boudoir experience that are not lingerie. The first thing you can wear that's not lingerie is a, a luxe robe. I personally love to have a robe that is big with tulle. I just love it. For me, I find that a lot of my clients, if they've never worn anything like that outside of maybe their wedding dress, that they love to feel regal in that. And I love that experience for them because if they decide to do a crown or if they decide to just wear nothing under it, then for them, it gives them a sense of I am a queen for a day. It doesn't always have to be that luxe, big tool robe. It could just be any robe, a silk robe. It doesn't really matter, but a robe is one thing that you can wear that is not lingerie. Check out the examples here. Number two is a t-shirt. Now I know I said that I love the luxe robes, but I really truly love t-shirts. I think the sexiest thing is when a person has a t-shirt on and it's a little bit too big and they have one shoulder here and then the other shoulder down. I think just that hint of sexiness is something that a lot of women or a lot of people who are trying to get into boudoir but are not sure about lingerie want just a hint of sexiness you can always actually have a shirt that could be see-through you can also have the shirt where you scrunch it up in the center um, i've seen a lot of different examples of people showing their bottom with the t-shirt up over their hips so many different ideas that you could do with a t-shirt if you don't believe me check out these examples here Number three, just wear a sports bra. Sports bras can be just as sexy as a regular bra. And with the amount of colors, the amount of designs that you have, it's still going to be sexy. Remember, sexy is what you make it and confidence is sexy. Check out these examples here. Number four is a regular dress shirt. Dress shirts come in a variety of colors and patterns, which I love because you don't just have to go with the plain white or the plain, plain pinstripe. Um, you could do whatever you want with it. The other thing that I like is that you can open it so you can have your chest exposed or as much or as little as you like. You can also flip up the collar so that frames your face. There's so many options with dress shirts. If you don't believe me, check these examples here. <music> Number five is body jewelry. Body jewelry to me just gives it an extra little bit of just sexiness when it comes to a boudoir experience because there's so many varieties of body jewelry. You can do something with pearls. You can do something that's just metal that's hanging down. You can have something that shows a lot of yourself or a little bit of yourself. There's so many different options when it comes to wearing body jewelry that there's something for everyone. Check out these examples here. <music> Last but not least, my favorite, even though I said rolls are my favorite, but this is really my favorite, a sheet and just your body and nothing else. I find that at the end of the session, this is when this works the best because at that time you are relaxed, you're trusting yourself, you're trusting your photographer, and this is a time where you just let loose and just show who you are without anything on. And so if you are worried that, you know, my body is this, my body is that, I'm learning to love different parts of my body, whatever part of your body that you are learning to love, that sheet will cover it. So if it's your stomach, if it's your arms, not your face, because your face is beautiful, but everything else you can cover with a sheet. Here are some examples that I absolutely love that really show the diversity of using a sheet. <music> As a client, I want you to understand that you do not have to limit yourself to lingerie just for your session. This is a way for you to expand on what sexiness is for you, but also to expand on what you see yourself in. So if that is a sheet, if that is body jewelry, if that is a luxe robe, it doesn't matter. But what you want to really make sure of is that you feel sexy, you feel confident, and you feel comfortable in whatever it is that you decide to put on for your boudoir experience. <music> 
Please make sure to like, please make sure to share and comment on which one are you going to try for your boudoir experience.